Today we have an OCHEM question of the day, um, and so this one asks, which of the following compounds is aromatic? So what we want to do first is just define uh, how we can find if something's aromatic or not. Um, so there's just a couple rules. So the first one's Huckel's rule. And so if you remember this one, this one says that you have to have 4n plus 2 pi electrons. So say we had um, 10 pi electrons, right? 10 equals 4n plus 2, 8 equals 4n, n equals 2. So n has to be an integer. Um, if, it's not come, if it doesn't come out to an integer, then it doesn't follow Huckel's rule and it's not aromatic. So if we had 8 pi electrons, that would not work because n would have to be a fraction. Um, so the second one is that um, the molecule has to be planar. Everything has to be planar. So that means everything has to be sp2 hybridized. Um, and so if you remember from before, that means that it's flat. sp2 would be flat. Um, so something like this is sp2. Something like this is sp3. And something like this is sp. Okay. And the third rule is just that it has to be cyclic. So cyclic just means um, in a circle, um, this would not be cyclic. Okay. So pretty basic rules. Um, so let's go back to these and let's just try to go through each one. Um, so the first thing we'll do is let's see um, if we have the 4n plus 2 rule. Let's just go through some of these. So this one has 8 electrons, correct? So it has eight pi electrons. Eight, we remember we said before that eight is not um, Huckel's rule, so we'll cross this one out. Because um, four n plus two does equals eight, we'll have n as a, a fraction. Um, and so let's go to this one. So D, let's see. Um, so the first thing we could do is how many pi electrons does it have? Well, it has two, and so four n plus two would not work as well. Four n plus two equals two, n equals zero, that doesn't work. Um, and also sp2, it's also not sp2 hybridized because we have this right here, all right? So that would not be um, sp2 hybridized. Um, so let's look at this one now. So if we have, let's count the number of pi electrons. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 14, correct? Because seven pi bonds means times two, we'll have 14 pi electrons equals 4n plus 2. 12 equals 4n, n equals 3. So, so far that's good. Um, let's go to the next one. Is it planar? Um, so how we do that is we have to make sure everything um, only has three things coming out of it. So there's no hydrogens like this where four things are coming out uh, from one carbon. Um, and a good way to look at that is just if it's connected to a double bond at least once, then it is okay. Um, so here is fine, here is fine, here is fine, here is fine, and this is fine as well. Um, the only one is this one, but no, that's fine because there's a double bond right there. So everything's okay there. So planar, yes. And cyclic, is it cyclic? Um, and yeah, it definitely is cyclic. Everything is in a circle, so that's good. So this one checks out, it's all aromatic. So that would be our answer right there. Um, so I skip A and I skip A for a, a good reason. Um, so let's look at that one. Um, so let's go down the list. So is it cyclic? Yeah, it's cyclic. Um, it's in a circle. It's not um, in a straight line like other ones. Is it planar? Well, let's see. Well, the first thing we want to look at is these ones are all planar, correct? But if we come here, we notice that there's two, two lone pairs right there. Um, and that should be a, an indication that it's not planar because anytime we have um, two lone pairs like that with an oxygen, think of a uh, water. It's going to be bent and so that's not going to be uh, planar anymore. Um, and also another thing that we can look at is these, high, these uh, um, lone pairs come out and so that means we'll have eight pi electrons, not just six. So eight equals four and plus two. That doesn't work as well. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.